Okay, we're going to um, do an example of dismissing the keyboard in a iOS app. So let's open up this uh, app that has really nothing in it. Let's go to the storyboard. <clears throat> okay, first we need a, a text field. Um, okay, oh, we need to go into the, uh, what do you call that, the object library? Yeah, and there's a text field. We put it right here. Okay, and now let's select this and go to the identity inspector. Is that right? Oh, oh no, actually, that's, that's fine. Uh, we need to set a, um, a delegate. So let's wait here. Let's do that. We can see. Um, okay, there's no file owner. Where's file owner? I don't have that. So I guess it would go to view controller. We're gonna. We need to set the um, delegate. So this would be like file owner, I guess. Their outlets delegate. So ah, I'm trying to go close up here. I guess we can't. Okay. So let's set the delegate. Go to view controller and we'll pick outlets delegate. And we can check that by going to uh, the uh, connections inspector. And you can see under here outlets. Delegate is set to view controller. Um, you, sometimes you see file owner. That would be like, I think, if we're not doing a storyboard. But anyway, um, okay, now let's go on. Next, we want to go into the, oh, well, okay, view controller, and um, we want in the, uh, here in the uh, class extension in viewcontroller.m, the implementation file, we want to implement or we want to conform to UI text field delegate. So now, so far we have wait, we've set the delegate um, of the text field to the view controller. And now we've made the view controller conform to the delegate protocol. And next, um, we want uh, the, we want to implement the uh, method text field should return. So let's, let's do that here. It returns a bool. Text field should return. Let's um, just get some information about that. Oh, well, let's just finish here. Um, text field, which is the text field that was passed as an argument to this method. Um, we're going to re we're going to say it should resign first responder, and that makes the keyboard go away when it does that. And we're going to return yes. OK, so that means text field re should return. It's called when you push return or enter on the keyboard. And so this is one way to make it go away when you push enter. And let's get some more information about this method. It's uh, declared and then OK. Let's get information about this uh, delegate protocol. Okay, and this is where um, we have this text field. Wait. To 
will return. Is it in here? Yes, text field should return. So that is described in this delegate protocol. So that's what, why we do this. So um, the text field will, uh, will cause this to be called in the delegate um, when, when you uh, put, enter a return. So that, okay, let's run it and see if it works. want to make sure that we um, don't uncheck this so that we'll get a keyboard when we when we talk here. So a couple of few letters and then push return. Oh there goes the keyboard. So let's try let's see what happens if we take that out. If I just commented out text field resign first responder and now let's see what happens. And push return, and the keyboard doesn't go away now. So now the other way to get rid of the keyboard. Um, okay, this is an interesting thing to do here. We select the view controller. So we actually um, we want to select the view. So that's the view of the view controller. Um, subclass view, and now we change it to uh, control, and that makes that turns it from a view, a UI view, into a UI control, which makes it so it can have uh, different behavior, like we can, it can respond to touches, kind of like a giant button. Okay, so now what do we do? We're gonna go into this. Um, Assistant thing. Uh, what do you call that again? Let's see what it's called. The assistant editor. Let's make some space. And now we're going to make another method here. It's going to be control drag right here. It's an action. And we don't want it can, because it's a UI control, it can respond to all these different events, but we want this one touch up inside. And we're going to call it um, uh, background tapped. And guess what we're going to do inside of it? So the view, we're going to send the view this message to end editing. So let's try that. That just means that we can tap anywhere around on the screen and um, and, and the keyboard should go away. And now I can tap here and it went away. So let's see what happens if we didn't have that. Let's try again. some letters and tap around and nothing happens. So that really helped to get rid of the keyboard. So there it is. Um, that's how we get two ways to get rid of the keyboard, pressing enter or return or tapping around on the screen.